Hello and welcome to the Atma podcast. I'm joined by the voice of Jordan at the moment because his, his webcam is currently not functioning properly. Yeah, we are having technical issues. But he's here, he's here in the in the audio space. Hello. <laughs> uh Bob Bobby, straight in up the Atma. Thank nice. you for joining us. The one ball blog as well it says happy birthday, Jordan. Ah, oh, thank you. I'm 30. That's it. How does it feel? Yeah, it feels good. I, feels I quite good. like it. You like the big three zero. Oh fuck my web. I want to show what you got me. This is fucking sick. Ah uh, yes, the present. I've got you. Uh, well, if we get the webcam working, I shall show it. Is it still intact? Still intact. Yeah, I need yeah. to put a nail in the wall though. Oh, it's hang up. Yeah, to hang it up. Gives you a bit of a clue what it might be. Yeah, it's fucking sick. I still can't believe you made it. Yeah, I mean, made. Uh, there's several things I made on it, but other things were bought. So it's a mi- bit of a, like, a mix and match. Yeah, but just like the the counter sinking using foam is just like Jesus. That's, it. That's, That's it. genius. I just couldn't be dealing with sticking it, sticking the case to the actual back of the frame. Couldn't yeah. be doing it. That is it. Framo says turn it off. And I, I tried that. Get one now. That's it. Framo's on tech support. Appreciate it. Uh, Bob Bobby says happy birthday, Jordan. I'm 40 this nice. year. Nice, Bob Bobby. Nice. Another decade in the back. That's it. Do you feel any different being 30? Um. Physically, no. Right. But I do just have this thing in my head of just like, you know, I feel like this is like a new chapter. I do genuinely believe like I'm sort of like looking at my 20s like, yep, you did the YouTube thing and I'm sticking around. Don't worry, guys. But I just mean like as a job, like, you know, you did the YouTube thing and that you got your plaque like you, you, you know, they say your 20s, you, you know, try and do everything you can to, you know, find out who you are and all that sort of stuff. And I, I feel like I've done that. And now I'm I'm just sort of, I feel like I'm in a good position to just move forward with my life into my thirties, a bit more mature, build a, you know, build a, uh, pension. Nice. <laughs> nah, but like build for the, for the, for, for the future sort of thing, you know, um, as well as, as well as, as well as, you know, living in the now, you know, I feel like I've, I've, I've learned a hell of a lot. You know, I've focused on many different things in my twenties without getting too deep, many different things, you know, the pursuit of, of fame and all that sort of stuff. And at the end of it all, I've come to realize, you know, the best stuff in life and the most meaningful are your friends and family, you know, and, and, and those people that, that support you. You know, so you, for example, you guys tuning into this podcast, you know, the fact that you guys come here week in, week out to listen to us chatting, you're the, you're the people that matter. You know, it's not the whoever else is out there. Like who, who can I get to subscribe to watch me? It's like, what about the people that have, you know, what about the people that are here? So yeah, yeah, I'm just very content with, you know, just with the YouTube stuff, with Atma, with, with the drip podcast, with the investigations, just doing them for the love of it, doing it for the people that are here, here and now, not the potential all let's go viral and fucking bring loads of people in, um, you know, just do it fair for the people that have, have stuck around and, um, you know, be there for friends and family and be as present as I possibly can. So yeah, that's basically where I'm at. I'm going into my thirties pretty much. What a positive message. Yes. I would have felt I'd, I will, I would feel that I'll be a bit more impactful. If we could see you actually gesturing and actually saying, yeah, that's true. You know what I mean, you've just got to use your imagination. You can see the passion or hear that's the passion. True. Um, I've got a few messages or a few people saying some stuff. So I, what I will just say before I pronounce this incorrectly, I do apologize, but Prane, Prane, Vaca, um, procrastinating when I have an exam final tomorrow 
laugh my ass off. Probably should study, mate. Um, but I'm grateful you're here. I mean, both are. Oof, they're talking about the hangovers um, after 30 and even after 40. Fuck you now. Um, do you reckon you're going to have a hangover this weekend? Um, I, I'm going to enjoy myself. I'm not going to go mental crazy though. No, you know I want to be, um, to be able to enjoy it, not get like shit faced and be a mess. Yeah, that's where I'm at. I think any any more than that is just uh, it is is damaging. It really is. At this, I mean, I'm, I'm acting like we're like fucking sixty years old, but we're not. But it really does take a toll. Like if you, I think if I go out now drinking, it does take me a lot longer to recover. So I've got a couple of people. It's Rich B. I will answer this for you, mate. Uh, all right, Lozzy, you bring back the conspiracy podcast? Question mark. I do have a few conspiracy podcasts that we've done recently. Um. And maybe an update on Jim and Dan. Funny enough, I can talk to you about Dan. I I thought he was meant to be here at six, but I don't know what he's kind of doing at the moment. I also think we may have, I don't know if Jordan's still there. It just says, device is not connected. So maybe I'm doing this slow, solo right now. Oh, are you back? Is he back? Something happened. But anyway, uh, Dan was meant to be here. I'm sure he'll pop up and we'll just bring him in. Uh, Jim, I don't, I haven't really heard anything from him. I know he's very, very busy with Hobo Jack. He's pretty much running running it now. So he's got a load of projects on the go. A load of projects on the go. Kez, I'm good, thanks. I hope you are too. I've lost some, uh, just to answer the one ball blog. Uh, we will get into, if Jordan is actually here, uh, we will get into what the thumbnail advertises this podcast episode to be about uh look like you've lost some timber mate uh i hope so because i've been absolutely putting a shift in at the gym three to four times a week so yeah well more like three don't want it over um big myself oh he's been shafted backstage sorry there you Hello. go there you go oh, i was in putting something in the chat yeah so i just tried to do my webcam thing and it just threw me backstage Oh, I just don't know what it is. I I do have I do have a Nvidia graphics card update. I don't know if it's that. So, but if I do that, I'll have to restart my PC. So, That's it. I might just have to be faceless. That's all right because we're gonna go into it in like a couple of minutes what the pod's actually about. So, uh, we're gonna be yeah. doing like uh, rating the oh. uh, classic snacks, UK snacks. Nice. I just had some Milky Way Magic Stars. Wow, that's a throwback. Yes. I do like Magic Stars, you know. Decent. Oh, my God. Oh, no. What? What's going on? So, on the front of the packet, because you know it's like, oh, you get X amount of calories per 100 grams. Yeah. On the packet now, it says 32 Magic Stars equals 33 grams. So, it has like wow. how many individual stars? Jesus. Scott is trying to get us to get Cowboy Stack backs on the pod. I feel like you fill the quota perfectly, Scott, for Cowboy Snapbacks. And, you know, we already do a podcast together, Scott. So I feel like that's that's that base has been covered. That's it. Milky Way crisps were the one. Oh, they were fucking amazing. Were they like the the little um the rolls? The sticks. Yeah. Yes. They're fucking sick. Yeah. I literally, I think it may have been red in 2018. Oh, yeah, you just had you just had those, didn't you? I literally just had those and cheese savouries. And the cheese savouries are, savouries are only bought for the st- nostalgia of, you know. Yeah, for the brand. The whole, yeah. So, yeah, it was pretty much crispy rolls. Yeah. <laughs> crispy rolls. I don't. I don't know if you uh, if you said this while I was shafted into the backstage, but Ashton's finished university today. That's huge. Oh, I didn't notice that. Well, a journey has been run there, Ashton. Hopefully, you did well. But as- Ashton, do you know what you will have in your future, which is horrible at the in the oh. in the moment, but so satisfying, 
is you will have nightmares, literal nightmares, that you have an essay to hand in tomorrow that you haven't even started. And then you wake up and you realize you're not in education anymore. And it's just like Christmas morning. I have that probably once every one or two months. How euphoric is the relief that that is not the situation you're in? Oh, it's amazing. It's like, oh, fuck, yeah, I'll never have to do an essay ever again. Wow. But this is where Ashton's like, I've signed up for my master's. Uh, (laughs) So, Fucking hell. Well, well done, Ashton, anyway. It's a... Yeah, well done, mate. It's a feat. Right, I think we'll head on into the old tier list of snacks. Nice. Now, I will just point out that whoever... I didn't make this, right? Um, but whoever did make this loves Doritos. And I mean, okay. fucking loves them because every single, like, the main flavours are on it. Uh, they yeah, could have right. stuffed out with different crisps, I suppose, but we are oh, where we are. Let's put it on the screen. Okay. Right. So there's oh, a... There's... I tell you what, sorry, to, sorry, sorry, oh, but there oh. are some fucking gems on here. Yeah, there are. There are. Oh, my goodness. So I think mini eggs. We've got, we've got to start mini eggs anyway, but what, what do you say about mini eggs? Have them all year round. I think they're brilliant. They're fucking immense. Yeah. I actually would say I wean myself off of them. Yeah. At Easter. Yeah. I say I go, I have my little, you know, kind of like my my diet from them in Easter. But yeah. all year round, I'm popping mini eggs like fucking little crack balls, mate. Mini eggs beat any Easter egg. I mean, because I know Easter eggs are literally just a layer of chocolate in the shape of an egg, but mini eggs are superior to any Easter egg. Oh, Scott. Scott said, why are they powdery? I never understand it. It's like nice chocolate that's been rolled in chalk for no reason. Scott, I love you very much. Sometimes you make it so tough to love you. (laughs) You really do. Right. I just want to point out for absolute clarity and full context to this conversation that Scott prefers... Little Coke. <laughs> right? <laughs> there you go. Yeah. That's we we're not, know. listen, That's we're not bashing own brands, but Little Coke, Coca-Cola is a goat of sorts. I know there's some Pepsi lovers and there's certainly some Dr. Pepper lovers like myself, but the, there's levels to the game and it just cut you. I just feel like own brand Coke. And again, nothing wrong with own brand. I have many own brand products in my house. I think own brand like Aldi. Um, oh, what's the, the like chocolate pillows? Crave. Aldi Crave is better than Crave. Crave. Um, but I just think when it comes to Coca-Cola, it's just not the way. They, I feel like cheap cola products taste like flat Coca-Cola. Absolutely. I got just because I was interested, I, I did yeah, fuck right. I did fuck it up because Scott likes the Lidl um brand. Whereas I went to Aldi and I got Aldi's um basically Coke Zero or Diet Pepsi, whatever they're trying to market. You gotta get the free way, mate. That's it. And I got I think it's X Z Cola, right? And it literally tastes like um the Haribo oh, like, cola, cola bottles. bottles. And it, it's got it's just like that, but carbonated. So, yeah, I don't know about that. He's, he's back. I'm back. Oh, Sorry. I I t- right, I'm going to stop trying to fix my webcam because it doesn't <laughs> like me. That's it. Okay. Sorry. But yeah, mini eggs. They're S plus. It's not even a fuck. It's just. Yeah. I would say. S plus. It's going in there. Uh, yeah. This next one, oh, I've got a strong opinion on salt and vinegar. Um, right. It's an absolute fucking garbage flavor. Agreed. Yes. <laughs> Fuck it. I hate it. Fuck salt it. and vinegar. Ugh. Especially if you ever had like so much salt and I think they like salt and vinegar McCoys, but you get like the white shit around your mouth and they like, yeah. they're like 
I don't know, like they're like tingle. Yeah. Like you've literally given yourself fucking salt poisoning. Yeah. Yeah, that's salt. Ugh, Amber says salt and vinegar is the best. Oh, thing. Jeez, have a word, my God. Uh, they're terrible. It's like the word, it's like literally, if you just have salted, it's better. Agreed. Than salt and vinegar. I don't, I don't have vinegar on my chips. Nah, no, I'm not. A, I'm not a person who puts vinegar on my chips either. When um, you go to a fish and chip shop, man, like you got salt and vinegar, and you're like, yeah, and they just get that fucking vinegar, and they're like, <laughs> you're like, you can stop that, <laughs> please. They're swimming. <laughs> it's like fuck. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like ah, it, chip soup. That that is literally what it turns into, though. It is the yeah. lit, the composition of the chip is just completely done over by vinegar and it's just mush it's just basically soggy mashed potato i think um uh, we need to address what the one ball blog has just put because i don't even know (laughs) fucking hell right (laughs) salt vinegar crisps in chicken soup amazing (laughs) how the fuck do you even get to the point where you contemplate pouring salt and vinegar crisps in a fucking chicken soup dippage mate oh, oh, first it. of all shout out cream of mushroom chicken soup that is that is, i right. do like cream of cream of mushroom is, soup. is it cream of mushroom or is it cream of chicken mushroom is it or is it just cream of chicken you can have, you can have both i think you can have cream you can you can turn anything into cream if you say cream of tomato soup that's it Chicken soup is so salty anyway. Jesus. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, Well, it's not surprising to hear that Scott likes salt and vinegar on chips. Um, So, uh, again, look, if you want to base our takes around anything else. Cream of mini egg soup. (laughs) I mean, I'd fucking try it. Yeah. I'd fucking try it. Nicholas, I want to say Mancini. I don't know if that's right. Uh, I want to mail you guys some weird American foods and see you react. I mean, I wouldn't be against it. I mean, we have Post tried. It. We have tried some foreign. Dox food. yourself right now, Lars. Get it posted. <laughs> <laughs> right before I dox myself, um, salt and vinegar crisps are going. D. D. Right. Have you had one of these caramel? Wafer. Oh mate, they're class. Have you never had one? No, I I used to have them religiously. I uh, love them. Around my great nan, she used to have like literally. I think she had stocks in fucking tunics, right? <laughs> She'd have like yeah. a pantry full of the fucking things every time I go around there, just doling them out. That's it. Continuously, yeah. I think they're nice. I think they're fantastic, but uh, my dad gets them all the time. But he, it's a, it's it's. It... In my opinion, a war crime. Um, he puts them in the fridge. So oh. when you bite into them, because caramel, they've got like that nice, like slightly chewy, haven't they? Yeah. Whereas you bite into a fridge called caramel, it just breaks off. It's it's weird because there are some chocolate like bars that I actually prefer in the fridge, but 100%. this is de- this is definitely this one not one. No. Yeah, uh, I'd put this in A personally. I would agree. I would agree. Now, where do you stand on the classic Greg sausage roll? <sighs> right. So I love Greg sausage rolls. They are fantastic. Don't get me wrong. Right, but my opinion has lessened in the last couple of Greg sausage rolls I've had. Not by much, but. You know, I look at them and I just think, what is actually in this grease? Oh, well, yeah, especially. And then you look at the, the meat. And listen, it's cooked, of course it is, but it is pink. <laughs> and I just think that's not meant to be pink, man. And then you sort of look a little bit closer and it's more, the meat is more akin to like a, a paste. That has been yeah. dry. You know, I just think, what part of the pig is this? You yeah. know, and it terrifies me. I'll tell you what, right? Let's bring Dan in absolutely no context and just ask him straight out. Oh, perfect timing. Hello, mate. How you doing? 
Is it, it, can you hear me? Not yet. Can he, he, I don't think he can hear me. Anyway, what's your thoughts um, on Greg's controls? Hello, mate. Randomly. I Hi, mate. So anything. my webcam ain't working today, mate, but I am here. It is bizarre. Get out he here. is here. Oh, my days. I'll tell you what. For now. The technical issues today. That's it. We're, we're loving it. It's good. Um, oh, what is it? Sound? You can't hear us. I don't think don't you can hear us. Down. Okay. So I can't hear you at all. We've got two podcasts going on simultaneously. That's it. Hang on. I will mute him for just a second. Just because I want to. Oh, hey, you can hear us now. Oh. Can you hear us? Can you hear us? Hello? No. Hello? No. no. <laughs> okay. Right. <laughs> Greg Sausage Rolls. I'm on board with them on the whole. I will say that I do agree if you actually dive into like cut it in half and actually look at it. You're yeah. probably best not to, to be honest. Yeah, it's one of them, it's the fucking thing, and it's all right. But, um, yeah, I reckon I'll put them in maybe just scrapes and A, but I'll, put, I'll, I'll happier in B, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're See, good. I would have had them in A, but I feel like they've gone down a little bit. Oof. Everyone so is from the north is, is absolutely fuming. Jenny, oh, can you hear us? Hello? Can you hear us, Dan? That's a no. <laughs> we'll carry on. Uh, Jaffa Cakes. Don't, look, in the chat, don't, I know what's going to be said. Do not try and tell me they're a biscuit. Yeah. the cl- I can't believe that went to court. The clue is in the fucking name. Yeah. You just uh, don't. Can you hear me? Uh, yeah. I, we can hear you. We can, can you hear us? Just use the internal speakers. I don't know what's going on. Um, I can hear Jordan, but can't see him. Yeah, my webcam's not working for some reason. Oh, mate. Oh, and well, that's... uh, Yeah, we're having technical issues for days. Your webcam's not working and my voice isn't working, so together we make one. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> oh, dear. We're uh, we're up to Jaffa Cakes, mate. What's Loz, your chance? Can I hear you, oh. Loz? Can you hear me? I can. I can hear you. Uh, Jaffa Cakes, yes. Uh... Let's have a look. Um, Mini, I agree. Caramel, yep. Greg's, yeah. Salt and vinegar. Are yeah. you a salt and vinegar man? I do like salt and vinegar, but yeah, they're just, uh, I mean, I'm a prawn cocktail over. Jaffa cakes for me, oh, mid range. Yeah. I'd definitely put them at least B. I yeah, think I'll, I'll be happy with B. The weird, Jaffa cakes are weird for me. Like, because I do like them, but I wouldn't regularly go for them. But if I do buy a box of Jaffa cakes, I just do the whole thing in. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Smash them in one sitting. Easy. But I would be happy with middle of the range for Jaffa cakes. Middle of the range it is. It'd be. I think right. you know you're a true Jaffa cake fan when you suck the Jaffa cake dry and then just have that. Have you ever got to that like liquidy orangey bit and just left that? That's yeah. really weird. Like that's... Yeah, I have deconstructed a Jaffa cake many times before. Yeah. I must admit, every time I've done it, I've gone, why? It's like, it is such an inferior way to enjoy a Jaffa cake. <laughs> yeah. I'm eating yeah. everything individually. Um, yeah, but it's it's better as an actual whole product, to be honest. Anyone yeah. who's thinking out there, I'm going to deconstruct this. Just Just eat it. Don't, There's don't. someone out there whose favourite food is that little bit of sliver in the middle. Oh, um, just and they would like, just have a whole plate full of them if they could. Well, <laughs> I, I'm guessing <laughs> that that person is not Scott because <laughs> Scott absolutely despises orange and chocolate together. So, yeah, right. Terry's again, orange? Oh, is Terry's. Terry's is, Terry's is the cream. Orange chocolate. It's, it's not on the list, but it really fucking should what be. A, an S. What a str- I know. I understand the concept of niching down, but what a, what a niche to go into. Mm. Like, we want the orange chocolate market. Yes. Yeah. yeah, we want to corner it. Yeah, I mean they absolutely have, but yeah, it's success. But it's so strange. It is. It's proper niche, isn't it? I mean, even chocolate's niche, but. 
Holy yeah. Jeez. Like after eight, we want that milk. Uh, sorry, oh, that milk, yeah. that mint. I think you're right. Yeah, yeah. Specifically, Christmas and Boxing Day only. So, like, what on earth is your business model? <laughs> <laughs> what? So, like, are you only meant to eat them after eight? Well, that's like the, you know the fun kind of story about it. But you can eat them anytime. Anytime. I think we've talked about this before, and I'm uh, I'm I'm just glancing quickly, and I can see three. You've got the same chocolate, but exactly the same chocolate, but it's got different amounts of air in it. So you've got yeah. a flake, a whisper, and a dairy milk, which is all the same chocolate, but it's just <laughs> got. They're basically they're giving you a block of chocolate, and they've gone, okay, we're going to put more air in this one. Oh my um, god, that's so true. And we're going to charge you more. We're going to charge yeah. you more. So like a flake is if you can if like if a flake if chocolate was gold. You would weigh it and be like, well, I, I, give me a dairy milk because that's a block <laughs> of solid and you're getting ripped off with a flake. But a flake to me tastes better. I mean, we'll come on to it, but it's true. I love flakes, man. I love like, flakes. They get like, fucking everywhere and you yeah. get 70% and they're, they're great in ice cream for some reason. And they're just, yeah, it's funny. Okay. I, I don't know if it's going to be controversial. Um, <laughs> just the creams. <laughs> Shit! No, Ooh. Ooh. I, don't, I just don't see the appeal of them. They're, they're great. They're fucking boring. Custard cream, yeah. But see, you don't like hot drinks either. Oh, I feel yeah. like that is a massive part of a custard cream and dipping yeah. in a cup of tea. Yeah, well, you no, can't. Bourbon. Bourbon. We've had tea for sure. Well, I like bourbons. But I don't like custard creams. Well, so you just have dry bourbons. Jesus oh, Christ! Dry custard cream. A bit, a bit of milk. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> It's getting worse. I know. Uh, it's a Scott take. You know, custard creams are fantastic. Yeah, especially in tea. Yeah. I, I, I've got to say that without tea, they're like a D or mm. a C. But with tea, they're a B or an A. Yeah, I would push for an A on a custard cream. You're pushing for an A? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, I'll let you have one. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've got to agree. Custard cream, cup of tea. Supreme. Yeah. Uh, Penguins. Penguins are great. I just bought a pack of penguins before the pod. There you go. Yeah. I just yeah, want to give a quick a shout out and a quick RIP to breakaways. Um oh yeah, they discontinue, didn't they? Yeah. They were fucking great. Breakaways were good. Breakaways. Penguins are weird because like every now and then you get like you get all different colour penguin packets. But yeah. then um then every now and then you like there's like a mint one. Yeah, the green uh, one. Yeah, but then like a different colour won't necessarily, it's just it's still the penguin, but the green one is mint. Yeah, I know. Yeah, because you've got them, them multi packs that have like blue ones yeah. and stuff, but it is just a penguin. Yeah, and it's somehow, I think, I don't know, in my head when I was younger, they tasted different. Um, and I don't know whether they ever did that once to confuse me, but I feel <laughs> like they had different flavours. But it's yeah. weird, isn't it? You've got different color packets to signify different flavors but they, they're all the same apart from the mint yeah i think they did chocolate orange ones they were, yeah. i feel like they did uh, it's my mind playing tricks <laughs> it's the mandela effect of penguins they also did cake bars that i used to have in my pack lunches oh. as a kid and they were fucking amazing they were sick yeah the cake That's... versions were so good yeah that's unlocked some memories. Yeah, everyone got into them, didn't they? That was like a that was like Disney movies making uh the new actual real life Disney's. Like when the cake <laughs> come out, they're like, "Fuck, yeah. we can make, we've got our brand, but we can now make cake biscuits out of it." Like yeah, the Galaxy and Mars. And and they've all done it, didn't they? Yeah. Twix, don't know. Yeah, there's a cake all of everything now. I reckon penguins are at easy a. Yeah, I would. I would agree. Yeah. Uh, star bars, I've never had. I've never. I was then going to say, I've never had a star bar. Does it have raisins in it? I've no idea. I don't even know. Have you had I've a star had a, bar, Dan? I've tried one once. There, it's a weird bar because it's like nothing in it jumps out at me. Like it's almost, it's almost like it should be like a discount bar. Yeah, like, it doesn't feel like it's a top tier 
bar with the rest of the chocolates. It's almost like you would get, I don't know, like you know, it's like a pack of them, like your penguins or whatever. Yeah, uh, not not like not a, a boost with nuts. I was gonna say, it was, if it's like a boost with nuts, then I'll probably like it. Mm. I mean, I, I like never, boost. Never, I do like a boost. So mm. for that, for that reason, it's got to go with D. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. No one's tried it. And well, uh, Dan tried it once, and it's not memorable. There you go. There it is, right next to salt vinegar crisps. Jammy Dodgers. I do like a jammy Dodger. Jammy Dodgers are good. I'm gonna be controversial with that. It's like, yeah, I just, I just don't like him. Really? What part? What is it about? Uh, I don't know. Like, I like the jam and I like the Dodger, but I just don't <laughs> like them together. I like the biscuit, uh, but it's just something about something winds me up about the little heart thing in the middle, just the, the exposed. Um, it just, it doesn't actually make from a from a branding point of view. It makes no sense, does it? Yeah, because no one's dodging anything. Yeah. If anything, you're full of it. It should be called Folly Dodgers. <laughs> no, Folly Jammies. <laughs> folly Jammies. <laughs> That's the uh, little brand there. Folly Jammies. Folly Jammies. Jammy Jeez, Dodger. Gosh. Well, I was going to put it in probably B. But I guess I'll put it in C because I, I don't mind it because like I I appreciate I appreciate everything in it. I don't know why something I, there must be some sort of trauma I'm imagining because there's no reason why I shouldn't dislike it. Um, but I just I just dislike it. I don't know why that is. So right, Dan, I'll put it in C. It's fine. Gosh, don't know. Gold bars, absolute. They're fucking great. I do like a gold bar. Mm. I, I don't know like what that. sort of... Is it caramel? Yeah, know. caramac. Caramac, that's it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So what so is it, that? White like chocolate and caramel with, mixed together. Oh, have, ah. have you noticed that uh, in uh, currently in column A, um, they are all multiples in one pack? And I think that Oh, I've said ja- Jaffa cakes are, but there's something about like, um, you know, so as a parent, you buy we buy penguins because like the, you know the kids have one a day and they pack lunch, or whatever. And yeah. I feel like I feel like that happened when I was young, after your biscuits and and then the caramel. So like, probably more exposed to them. Yeah, that's very very true. Mm. I'm trying to think like Rocky bars as well. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Same. Yeah. Yeah. I like a caramel Rocky bars. Pretty. Yeah. Good. Yeah, and gold bars fall into that for me. I, I, I probably, to be honest, prefer a gold bar over a penguin. Oh, yeah, mm, interesting. Yeah. Do we put? It, I mean, I don't know if it quite makes many eggs level. No, certainly not. Right. That's madness. Okay. <laughs> End that talk. I think... Uh, well, we're going left field now. Yeah. I think <laughs> what, we'll, what we'll do for Doritos, because for some fucking reason, whoever's made this tier list has put all three major flavours of Doritos on this list. We'll do all the three flavours. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good shit. That in yeah. itself is a conversation. Like, what, uh, what, order, what order do the three go in? Yeah. I mean, cheese is the worst. Yeah. Yeah, I can. Yeah, but when Chili it, wave is probably the my favourite, and then just underneath is the original, called original. Yeah, I'm not. I, I'm not bothered about the cheese or the original at all. The other ones, the oh. heat ones, um, I, I love them. Fire, but the others, eh, couldn't care less. That's it. Doritos, you need to go to a one flavour model. That's it. Yeah, so ways are fucking great. But you, I would you probably gonna... agree. I would probably agree. Heat wave, cool original, tangy cheese. Right. So are we saying A for yeah, heat yeah wave? maybe like A C D or, or even we... A B C if you if you, you No, know. I think yeah, I think let's 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 go for A C D fucking A C D C. Oof. Um Right, so we're putting cheese at the bottom? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. 
Skittles. Skittles. I do love Skittles. See, we're not into sweets. I know they they completely just go backwards and forwards. I do like them. Skittles, but after a few, get a bit sickly. Yeah. I uh, like the... Uh, have you ever seen the mini little packs of Skittles? They're like they're just the right amount. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you get like nine Skittles. Yeah, like the party yeah. pack or whatever. Yeah, they call it. yeah. There for me, it's just that. So, yeah, I, I'm in agreement with you, John. A, a whole pack is just a little bit too much. Too yeah. many e numbers. I, do you know what? I, I don't know. We haven't heard what Loz has got to say yet, but I would probably say Skittles is around a C. Mm. Oh. <laughs> I, I weren't going to put him in S, but I weren't going to put him in C. <laughs> Where uh, are you going to put him? I'll put them in B. Yeah. Less compromise. Yeah, so an A drags it up. Let's see. Right, I'm just going to say it. These tea cakes can get in the fucking bin. Oh, cool. Thank God for that. I, I thought <laughs> I thought you were going to be like top tier, and I was like, no. these were these were like when your mum and dad did shopping and there's nothing left. And yeah, they'd be like they'd be like a month old, and just no one's at them. And you're like, yeah, is there anything for a snack? And, and, you're, and you're like, oh, it's oh, fucking man. payday is not not yet, but it's tea yeah. cake time. Who I want to know who's buying these under the age of like sixty eight. <laughs> I can't like these... them. Oh really? well, Do they? Uh, I don't know why. I don't even know who's exposing <laughs> them to them because I've never bought a pack in my life. Yeah. Right, the one ball blog is called these nonce nuggets, and I can't agree more. <laughs> <laughs> Scott said tea cakes are S. I will fight. <laughs> oh my, oh, my god, god. Fucking hell, know, Scott. he'll fight with a little coat. S tier, fucking behave yourself, man. Right, these I will actually give a little bit of defense because if you take away the marshmallow, right, they're all right. So you take away eighty five percent of the product, but everything like I just eating it as a whole is a complete just shite experience. Yeah, um, yeah. this is like this is niche gone wrong. Yeah, yeah. it's just because also like you, so you bite into it, so you break like the chocolate shell of oh. straight into the marshmallow, and then that crumbles everywhere. <laughs> while you just bite into a marshmallow, which I'm sorry are also massively overrated. Yeah. And then just a kind of very unsatisfying. Is it a biscuit base? Oh, I don't even know what it is at the bottom. All sorts of wrong. Yeah, it's like it's just, And what's with the tin foil got like the tin foil casing? Like, just can we just have a break for a second? <laughs> I feel like part? Americans would love these. Yeah, this is what, what Americans think that British people think. Hey, man, do you you like the party tea cakes? <laughs> We're just having these and tea every day. Yeah. Fucking wow, up. do you have those with crumpets too? Yeah. <laughs> Sitting in with our like little porcelain set of cups <laughs> and saucers. Fucking <laughs> afternoon tea with our tea cakes. That's it. it. This is like I feel like the person who designed these is like been described what a wagon wheel is like down the phone. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just made it worse. See, but I feel like a wagon wheel is a tea cake done right. It's a lot there. I'm not saying wagon wheels them. are great, but for a marshmallow <laughs> chocolate product, yeah. they're all right. Yeah. When we, as we've seen with these tea cakes, how badly it can go. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. Well, I'm pretty sure this is a unanimous D. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I wish there was another column for it. <laughs> Oh, now we might have a contender for S tier. I fucking love skips. <laughs> Prawn cocktail as well, so it should be up your street then. I like skips, but weirdly, they're the most unsatisfying thing. You could, could you put them in and they just disintegrate, and you're like, "Where the fuck's my skips gone?" <laughs> just melt in your mouth. You like, you don't feel like you've eaten. You need to at least two packs, mate. I, I will like just them. say. The people who make skips, when if you get a meal deal and get a grab bag of skips, oh, you get shit tons. So I think that's the sweet spot. Yeah, grab bags. Grab bags are huge, aren't they? Yeah. 
Skips. Skips. I would easily put at least A. Yeah. Yeah, I'd agree. I'd agree. A is bang in. Right. I don't know if this is going to cause any controversy. Right. Picnic bars. I love them. Mm. 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 See, now I can't have a have an opinion here because picnic bar is the same as a star bar. I've never actually had one. Oh, yeah. I, don't like the, I don't like the nuts in them. Oh, right. Well, that's that A straight in the bin then. Um, <laughs> what, shall we settle on a, a C? I'll or be a happy with, I mean, I'll be happy with a C. I mean, that's a... All right, I'll, I'll put it down to a C. I mean, begrudge. I feel like bad because obviously you would you would top tier it, but no, I probably wouldn't give it an S. I, I mean, any any chocolate that's got some form of fruit in it probably doesn't deserve to be. Yeah, in the S tier. Yeah, um, I agree. But I would have put it an A. But I'll settle for C. What's it's what we saying? Do you know what? what? <laughs> What's it? They get the cheese right, but it's the the consistency of the product. It just it's all over your fingers. It's all mm. in your teeth for a while, mm. for too long. Yeah, and, it's not and, skips, uh, is it? No, no. Uh, I'd probably I'd probably have to personally say that what's it's is around a C for me, and it's mm. not because of flavour; it's because of everything else within the product. Yeah, yeah. I, I'd go bit if there was a column between B and C. Um, I'd, I'd pick what's it's over Doritos, but um, but yeah, uh, just marginally. I think B yeah. minus plus. Yeah, B minus. Yeah, C plus. <clears throat> I see, yeah, I I agree, uh, especially about the teeth thing. Like them being yeah. lodged in your teeth, it just does my nut in. Um, yeah. and I will say, I think unfortunately. The crisps aren't on this tier list, but I will just give a shout out to Quavers, right? Mm. Quavers, I think they're not exactly the same cheese taste, but they are better. Yeah. Because they don't get stuck in your teeth. And they are yeah, quite Quavers are Quavers are infinitely better. I I'll, I'll put these in C. I'll put it in C. Oh, wine gums. <sighs> they're an acquired taste, I think. Yeah, I don't I mean, mind I quite, them. I quite like them. It's a big pack, in it? That pack. It's... Yeah. <laughs> I prefer. I know. It's, I know it's not the same product. I think it's from Bassett's though. I prefer. Um, is it Midget Gems? Mm, I they're, like them. They're like smaller wine gums, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, I like Midget Gems. Are they the ones that they're not like? Are they really hard? Yeah, harder. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. They they get stuck in my teeth. Yeah. Yeah. This like why that are they trick. called wine gums? Ain't them wine? What, yeah. What's those ones that are the, the same make as fruit pastels, but they're they're solid? Oh, I had a stage of liking them, oh, but they're so hard. They're literally round. Is it not round trees? Randoms? No. No, they're so hard. Let me. I think that they're, they're the same shape as fruit pastels, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, so, but the yellow pack. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're so hard, but they're like, I don't, I can't even, I don't even think they're a bait just, anymore. Oh, fuck yeah. Fruit gums? Are they called fruit gums? I, I, I've got gums in my, I did have fruit gums in my head. What was it? Is round it trees. Yeah, uh, yeah, round trees, yellow pack, uh, light pack. Fruit gums. Is it fruit gums? Yeah, yeah fruit gums. Yeah, it's like an orangey yellow packet. They've got like a cross hatched. Oh, uh, yeah, that's them. Yeah, 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 yeah. They are just randomly so hard. Yeah, that's that's those sort of ones that you literally lose teeth to. Yeah. Yeah. But wine gums. I mean, oh, I, I will also make jelly tots. Oof. But I never forgive them for um, discontinuing Tutti Fruities because Tutti Fruities were the bollocks. Yeah, they were good. They discontinued. Yeah, mate, they were good. So good. Tutti so fruities. They were the square things. Yeah, it's like a hard, yeah. it's like a, a hard shell and then a soft inside. Yeah, I like they're like almost like scales but square. 
but square and like tastes more fruity. Yeah. That's too fruity. I mean, uh, wine gums, I'd fight for a B, but I'd understand why they get pushed down to a C. C. Yeah, I've got to go for a C. Yeah. Outvoted on that one. (laughs) Right, Walker's cheese and onion. At least a B. Possibly an A. Okay, even better. Okay, because I... out of the, like, the core flavours of Walker's... Well, I'd probably put them in like prawn cocktail at the top. Yeah, yeah. Prawn cocktail for me is a is an S plus. Um, uh, and and cheese and onion yeah, A A or B. You yeah, can't go wrong, man. The tomato flavour uh, oh. cheese uh, walkers they're quite nice. I've yeah. Not but then you never see them. No, I think they weren't they part of a promotion like create a flavor and then it won and was so popular that it stayed around for ages i think something like that so walkers yeah like was it actually are... like a sort of brand partnership with heinz did they do like a heinz tomato ketchup or was it just tomato ketchup flavor i feel like there's an older one there is tomato ketchup but i feel like there's an older one that was just tomato flavor and i hate tomatoes <laughs> Make it make sense. I'm the same. I hate tomatoes. Love tomato sauce. There you go. I do like the Marmite ones. Mm, I love Marmite. I'll tell you what. I think it was this Christmas just gone. They did a Christmas pudding flavor. Oh, my God. And they were diabolical. (laughs) (laughs) It's like my uh, favourite biscuit, which isn't on this list, sadly. Choco Leibniz. Oh, they're fucking sick. They're amazing. And I went into my local one stop and I saw they had trays of Choco Leibniz for pound fifty. I was like, oh my God, let's fucking go. Brought it home, opened it up, took a bite. This don't taste right. Looked down, it was fucking Christmas Bailey's edition. Oh, fuck. I've never been so heartbroken in my life. I feel for you, son. Scott, I think you're right. He says, didn't they do squirrel flavored walkers? I think they what? did. I think the or fuck? the rabbit. I know what I'm getting confused with. Worcester sauce. Ah, uh, the, or- the 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 purple packet. Yeah, they they're good. Yeah, they're nice. Yeah, pickled onion. You ever tried those ones? Not the walkers. No, walkers pickled onion. Yeah. Cajun squirrel, no fucking way. <laughs> and hedgehog flavored. Well, no, that's weird. That must have been a that's yeah, like a weird like hedgehog promotion. Yeah, oh, the classic dairy milk, dairy milk, 141 flavors of Walker's Crisp. Jesus, okay, now. I think this is. I, like, I do like that. Their smoky bacon. Oh, smoky bacon's good. Weird ones. Brazilian salsa. Oh, the Branston Branston pickle ones are good. I think I have had them ages ago. Branston pickle. What are we saying about Dairy Milk? Classic. The original. The original. I mean, it's 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 okay to good. I think it's at least B. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apparently, they do a KFC uh, August crisps, which nice. Oh yes, that's like a promotion. So um, you'd get like a quid off of that flavored. Like chicken burger or whatever the the uh, thing is. It like um, the max? Is it the max one? Yeah, yeah. That like really they're cool. basically like McCoys, but oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the max one. Hula hoops. Now, must admit, I haven't had hula hoops in about easily ten years. 
There's a guy in my office, Hula Hoops. Ready to talk the Hula Hoops are literally his favourite thing in the entire world. <laughs> yeah, you cut him open, it's just Hula Hoop. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, that I mean, is that, that's right. really sorted in it, box standard, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I'll be happy with a C, happy with a B, either or, mate. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take either or. I'll tell you, let's, let's be kind and put it in a B. I'm a bit annoyed, French fries aren't on it. Do you like French fries? I like the, the Worcester sauce flavor ones. Oh. Whisper, whisper, do like a whisper. It's mm. very, it's just very satisfying. Dare I say this? Oh no, better than arrow. Oh, ooh, yeah. Because I guess the the arrow, the, what the mint one or all of them? Oof. Yeah, I mean, uh, whisper's solid in it. Solid player. Hundred percent. It's got to be B for sure. I would even argue for an A. Uh, A. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. I'll I'll pick a. I would personally pick a whisper over Dairy Milk. Bang it in A. Um, it's making me really hungry. This I've had no (laughs) coffee today. Twix. Fucking Twixes are so good. Got to be in the mood for a Twix. Yeah. Same. There's my oh. down the toilet. <laughs> yeah, it's still very, very good. But uh, what are we saying? Uh, a or B? I mean, I personally would go A, but I feel like the vibe I'm getting for you too is is below B vibe. Yeah, yeah, I'll probably say B. B it is. I accept yeah. it. Oreos. Now, I love Oreos. I think they're sick. Oreos with milk. Mm, nice. And the, I mean, I would feel absolutely just so angry if <laughs> the best pure biscuit on this list is a fucking custard cream. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, I got a bit. That... I I will have to put this in A. I gotta admit, because you can buy, you can get like three thousand custard creams for about forty eight p. And and uh, Oreos are like two quid for three. So I mean, yeah, I, I, it's got to be A in it. It's got to be in, in that comparison. I can't. I just can't yeah, live sure. Milky bar. Fuck. I haven't had one of them in a fucking long time. A lad, at, uh, a lad at my uni was one of the Milky Bar kids. Nice. Nice. That was his claim to fame. I think that's the first thing he told us as well when we met him. You're right, lads. Uh, I'm, I'm the Milky Bar kid. Yeah. Yeah. Not even the. He was just one of. <laughs> milky Bar. I do I do like Milky Bar. I would yeah. probably... I, I would argue for an A on that. Really? That's yeah, strong. I do like Milky Bar a lot. I do like Milky Bar. Milky bar um, what we got? Yeah, okay, yeah. I'll, 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 I'll get a bit of an A. I was always... when I mean, when Dream... or Was it Dream or Dreams? The, the white Cadbury's version of white chocolate. When that was a thing, it was always a toss-up between the Milky Bar and Dream bars. Um but I think a Milky Bar might just might just get it. Yeah, Nestle nailed the white chocolate, didn't they? And the the Milky Bar yogurts. Oh, oh mate, nice. they are cheeky, yeah. aren't they? Yeah, and the buttons as well. Yeah, mm. yeah, naughty, dirty, saucy Kit Kats. Now, I this is important, I think, because there is one superior Kit Kat. That I will not have any arguments over, and that is the chunky. The chunky is the superior Kit Kat. Hundred percent. Oh, Dan. Uh, I I prefer a normal Kit Kat. Ah! 
There it I, is. I like the. I like the. Uh, I like to dip in a tea. I love a Kit Kat. <laughs> I, I, I would pick a Kit Kat all day over a Kit Kat chunky. I really have to be in the mood for chunky. I don't know why. But, um, it's for but, me. It's like any time you offer me a Kit Kat and you are, you give me the choice of having like a four finger one or two two finger ones or a chunky. It's only a chunky every day. Yeah. Yeah, this uh, weirdly two two finger ones don't seem as much as a four finger. A four finger just seems <laughs> more substantial. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> How do you do, you do it do, on a four? Do you break it or do you just bite into it like oh, an animal? It, if you do, you gotta break it. You gotta yeah. break it into single yeah. fingers. Mate, I, I bite the ends off and then I suck up tea through it like a straw. straw oh, right. nice. and that is delicious. Jesus Christ. This guy's yeah. playing 4D chess. <laughs> <laughs> Someone said earlier in the chat about penguins biting the ends off and using it as a straw. I mean, that's not the choice of biscuit I'll be choosing for that. <laughs> it's too wide. It's too wide. It doesn't seem like everything. It's all biscuits. So it, I know there is chocolate on it as well, but yeah, it just doesn't seem that. Yeah, it's it doesn't seem aerodynamic enough to suck up the tea. Now, if you if you bite two ends of the ripple off and then use it as a straw, yeah, yeah, I've done that. Fucking, but it just now we're fucking vibing. It melts into the tea and chocolate just goes everywhere. Messy it's but really nice. nice. Ripple, ripples, ripple. I'm I know get Alexia Ripple. Ripples are good, um. Yeah, ripples would have been at least a pushing S. Ripple rum. Oh, ripple might have been S. Ripple. Yeah. <laughs> <Didn't we taste? laughs> Mate, I tell you what, if we had an ice cream van, then we did ice cream like a 99 with ripples. I reckon oh. we'd be I reckon we'd be billionaires. Yeah, I agree. Like Everyone, it'd be like crack cocaine. Yeah, people would love it. Oh, percent. But they would be seven pound ice creams. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, no one's no one's buying any discount ripples. No. Uh, Kit Kats. Yeah. What are we saying? They are fantastic. Yeah, I think even like the single, like the the four finger and the two finger ones, I would put. Yeah, solid. They're just like a solid midfielder, aren't they? Solid. They're just fucking staple. Yeah. Scott just said, Scott said, Ripple is just a flake for people with class and self respect. <laughs> I've got to agree. The council estates are fucking up in arms. That's it. They don't get the galaxy creaminess. That's it. I'm I mean, the, the chocolate is superior to Ripple. Uh, to a flake, but you know, the flake's more the flake's still amazing. But the flake is great, yeah. Mini roll, mini rolls, man, they're great. I love mini, and roll. it's like you were saying, Dan, about like the multi pack thing, yeah, yeah. They, 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 they like throw it in, it's almost a cake. So, you, you know, you could you could almost argue you could have that and a chocolate bar if you if you were a bit cheeky with your <laughs> mum and dad, yeah, yeah, like, on the cake and the chocolate bar. Can I ask yeah. a question? Because obviously you're a father to to daughters. Is this a is this a real thing? Do schools check the lunch boxes now? I think so. Um, but yeah, you're not allowed. I don't know if they check them, but they might uh, every now and then. But yeah, you're not allowed certain things with, with nuts. Um, oh. There's certain things you're not allowed. I think that I think they send letters. I mean, it's my missus. Is, is more on the ball with it than I am. Like, yeah. there could be stuff sneaking through if dad has some lunch. <laughs> yeah. I know about nuts, but anything else, I'm, I'm not really aware of. But yeah. There are things, because um, there's like lots of. Like, oh, this is deemed too unhealthy. Where's the Yeah, nut? there was a period. Uh, I don't think. I mean, yeah, it's a period where they couldn't have like chocolate and stuff. It had to be yeah, like a. Funny. That's that. I mean, I don't know if that, we give our kids chocolate. Uh, pretty sure. Yeah, yeah. Throw a chocolate bar in. Yeah, um, but yeah, I mean, God, it's like I don't know. So it's a, it's a weird one, isn't it? it I, yeah, kind of get it, but it, it's one chocolate bar is not going to be the undoing. No, absolutely. 
Um, but yeah, this mini roles just kind of reminded me of Pac-Man yeah. and then reminded me of, of that being potentially a thing. Yeah, um, yeah no, mini roles are fucking immense. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. I mean, I'd easy B, maybe yeah. just, yeah, maybe just squeaks an A, but I'd be happy with a B. Yeah. I'd... What are you saying, Dan? I'm the same. I'm I'm happy about either to be honest, A or yeah. B. Um, I'm looking. I'm like I, I would. The only thing I would probably out of that, are, yeah, Twix and that are probably about the same level for me. Um, yeah. But you know, I, I I could see it up that top top column. Yeah, I like it as well. It's a bit of a stacked column, that A. <laughs> It is, isn't it? I mean, yeah, it just shows you how much we fucking love sugar. Yeah, isn't it? And salt. So fruit, true. Fruit pastels are great. <laughs> I'm just, I'm, my, my, my mind is just sort of like, is anything else going in S tier? Yes, for me. Okay. Yes. Okay. Because uh, I do love fruit pastels, especially when you hit those, those, Purple and red ones. So. Mm. Yeah, it red all depends. Ones. It depends how lucky you are with the uh, the dosage of um, the yellows, the greens. Yeah. If you mm. get a load of them, the packs are fine. They do. Amazing. They do just red and they purple or black, but they're just like the good ones. They do. Yeah, I've seen them. them. Yeah, yeah. Nice. It's like a cheat code. <laughs> yeah, they are good. Fruit pastels. I would. Yeah, I would put them in A. Yeah, a hundred percent. Put them in A. I would yeah. say. There's no other sweet in there. Yeah, no, not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd agree. Out. Yeah, no other sweet in there. Yeah, when when you fancy them as well, they just hit yeah. the spot. Right. Monster Munch. <sighs> pickled onion is that? Yeah, pickled yeah. onion. I would say pickled onion and the chili. Oh, they're like the hot flavor. Oh, the hot ones are top tier. Would I mean. go in S. Absolutely. Yeah. The beef ones can get fucked. Yeah. Would you say pickled onion S? I do like the pickled onion flavor, yeah. but the, the hot ones are better. Yeah. I, I, I must admit, I love grabbing a pack of pickled onion, but I would always go for the hot ones priority. Oh. I'm exactly the same. I'm torn between S and A because the hot would be in S. What does S stand for? Super. I don't. I don't. Yeah, I think it's that's something really. essentially like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um. But do they not have the same issue as what's its? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Everyone in the chat is saying S tier. <laughs> yeah, I mean that. Got to go to the public, haven't we? Yeah, I think. I do like them. I do. And I'd give them far more time than what's it's, even though I do feel like they have a similar downside. Yeah. Yeah, well, you're right. In the, yeah. And they have the whole law of are they footprints or are they are they the monsters yeah, themselves? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The only crisp line with a law. <laughs> yeah. Job Bourbon's Slightly inferior to the custard gram. No, no, I'm not having this right. I'm not having this. <laughs> they must be at least as good as a custard <laughs> cream. I can't live in a world where custard cream is rated higher than bourbons. Yeah, I'm, 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 for me, they're the they're, they're uh they're yin and yang. Yeah. Complete opposite. Uh yeah, but also the same. Oh, oh right. <laughs> uh, do you know what I mean? They like right. Yeah, I'm with you. Because one's you one, can't one, have one without the other. Yeah, they're just they're like yeah, same pain <laughs> but different. Uh, but but on the same level. Right. Okay. Oh, I they almost fair. like uh, I feel like. I feel oh. like you can't have a world with custard creams without them <laughs> and just being problem. right next to them. Well, Scott's telling me to put an S. I won't put an S because they're not S. Um, but I can't have them rated lower than than custard creams. I just can't. I'll I'll just yeah. 
I would have put them in B, but you two are in A, so we'll go with A. There, there's nothing. I love a chocolate bourbon. I really do. But I just think I could eat. This is not a good thing, but I think I could eat more custard creams in one sitting oh, than chocolate yeah. bourbons. But then they are bigger. Yeah. I, uh, as a bit of a side side quest, what uh, with the biscuits there, because it's the last two, because I would probably go f- uh, fingers, you know, the not the chocolate oh, yeah. ones, but just the normal thin. Oh, just they would probably thin. be my favourite biscuit. I would probably yeah. say a malted milk is my favourite. Malted milks are good, but not too yeah. many, but they are good. Mm. Yeah, malted milks? Yeah. <laughs> again, yeah, but again, see, it's it's literally with the cup of tea. That okay, is the thing. Yeah, yeah. Hey, 100%. I'm, just, I'm a dry eater, all right? Yeah, see, I get it. I get, I get why a malted milk would not appeal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is me. anyone... You know, you get those multi packets, and you always get the nice biscuits. They're called oh, biscuits. Yeah. covered in sugar. I like everyone I know hates them. Is it? Yeah. Does anyone actually like you? Any of you guys like them? Anyone in the comments? Definitely like better than malted milks. I don't. Mm. I don't mind them. Um, okay. Funny weird weird thing with those biscuits. Um, <laughs> growing up, my dad. Well, it was my sister's rabbit. Um, it lived to a good age for a rabbit, so I'll just put that out there. My dad used to feed my dad used to feed it those biscuits. He's like this is like a rabbit couldn't get enough of those nice biscuits. It's just like... okay, now, I mean it, it served it well. Yeah, had a very fruitful life on nice biscuits. Nice biscuits. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. It gave the rabbit diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> oh uh, dude. Fucking right. Cabri cream. Oh, Meg, I there. Oh, I can really take or leave. Like one day I'll be like, yeah, I fancy a cream egg, and then other days I'll be like, they are fucking revolting. Yeah, yeah, you gotta be in the mood. Yeah. I didn't touch them. I had, I had, I got given either a four or six pack when I was young, like maybe like six or seven. Uh, I, I think it was four. It might have been six, and I ate them all in one go, and I was sick, physically sick <sighs> after. That. And oh. I didn't touch them. Until my mid twenties again, <laughs> um, and and someone was just like, "You got to have them." I was like, "They just got." And then and then I I came I can have them now. I came back round to it, but there was a long time where I was like, "They are disgusting." Yeah, but they're right. Uh, I would say that the cream eggs, like Cabri cream eggs, you can only have one. I one, mean, it's physically, it's physically yeah. possible to have more than one. Yeah, but you just feel like shit. If yeah, you do, you'll be yeah. sick. You uh, like, trust, they trust are. Me. They are nice, um, but where do they go? I see. Yeah, I'm I'm down with that. Because oh. for me, sometimes there'd be a B. A lot of the times, there'd be like a fucking F. So, so yeah, I'd say C. Right. Well, I'll put them in C. With what do you bit. What do you think? I would have put them in B. Oh, I mean, but there's more of you saying C, so I'll put it in C. Yeah. It's right it's now. Now we're about to throw the baby out with the bath water. Oh, we're here, fucking right? not. It's going in deep. Listen, listen I, I I think, wanna... yeah, I'm sure. I know. I know. Jordan has talked about this before. He's, <laughs> he likes bounties. I'm on a bat, ba- and not only do I like bounties, I'm actually on a bit of a bounty hype at the moment. Um, <laughs> and I would honestly put this in S tier. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. It's not going in S. Oh well, I mean, it's yeah, just... I'm a, I'm a firm D. Like it's I, healthy. I love chocolate. It's I love <laughs> chocolate, and I won't even eat it if it's just you know it's just left there in the tin, or what the, I'll just leave it. It's oh healthy. mate, please invite me around around Christmas time if all this left is. I think I've got a big box cause... of them from years ago. <laughs> I just would never eat them. Bex Fucking says hell. dark chocolate bounty is S tier. They're well up there as well. Fucks. Give me a red bounty. Right, I just want to put this out here, right? I've known you for well over 10 years. Uh, yeah, I've 15 never, years. Right? I've never seen you eat a bounty. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a closet bounty eater. Fucking hell. I think they have to be, Loz. I don't think you can just go out in public munching on a bounty. Uh, I think you would get attacked. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you get arrested. Yeah. It's, it's basically entrapment. Scott said I'd rather starve than eat a bounty. I have. I've literally said, <laughs> and I've, I've looked in there and thought, oh, I've got vivid memories of a kid, and they're like, 
you know, you, you're scrounging around for, for whatever. I've eaten, I've eaten jelly in the packet rather <laughs> than eat the bounties. Mate, I'll do that. Fuck the, fuck the bounty off. Oh, jelly well, the what happens here then? Because I want S tier, you guys want D. Does it go in B? <laughs> <Absolutely>. <laughs> Just go and I will I will literally counter offer you at with begrudgingly a C. Oh. <laughs> go, go, yeah, go, go. Give it one raise. <laughs> <laughs> if you know what? If three other people in the comments say uh, they love it, we'll give it a B. But come on, different. guys, give me an S tier for bounty, please. <laughs> Bob Bobby says the best way to eat jelly is out of the packet. There you go. Yes. Oh. God, I love bounties, man. Oh. I've lit. Oh, like I will just say this again: ten over ten years, I've <laughs> never seen a meet a bounty. <laughs> yeah, just like I say, it was a secret until now. Well, I can even taste it in my. Ugh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's I the like, most. I like. The... Oh, bounty D too. That's it. Get it, fucking in D. I thought I was gonna get support. I'm just getting buried. <laughs> who actually makes bounties that's what i mean i think <laughs> that's what i mean they, they they ceased production eight years ago but they just had so many left over that they're just <laughs> they're just filtering out to jordan how the, how the fuck did breakaways get cut but bounties still fucking survive <laughs> i've got shares yeah, right. well, we are for three uh, three S tiers. I've got three D tiers, so uh... D tier it is. No, <laughs> I'll give you C. I'll give you C. Thank you. I mean, it almost reads like there. It looks like cunt. <laughs> <laughs> With a backward C. Yeah. Uh, uh fuck's sake. Jelly beans. Some jelly beans are phenomenal. Other jelly beans... Are uh, really bad, <laughs> really bad. Yeah, they've really got bad. what about forty-eight flavors or something? I don't know. I'm just you get like horse radish yeah, flavor and shit, mate. I I literally nearly threw up when I had a tomato flavored one. <laughs> I thought it was going to be strawberry or raspberry. It was tomato. <laughs> it was vomit. Yeah, there was it some weird and what what the disappointing thing about these is that like sometimes if you grab a handful and chuck them in your mouth if there's a bad one yeah. or two in there it, it just ruins all the others yeah so 100%. you really have to know what you're doing with jelly beans i can't be bothered and also them. not to sound tight the like proper jelly beans as a jelly belly or whatever that whatever the actual proper brand of jelly bean beans is is so expensive yeah, yeah jelly belly like, one. proper proper like bag is like 14 quid. It's like, what? Yeah. I mean, like a big bag, obviously. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I must admit, jelly beans uh, can really just, I don't give a fuck about them. Yeah. Jelly babies are quality. That's that's a different conversation. Yeah. But jelly beans, yeah, I think think there's just too much risk involved. It's a bit like Revels. Yeah. Too dangerous. I love Revels. I know. Do you like coffee? Um, Chocolate. Mate, I, I fucking hate coffee, but I like coffee flavoured chocolate. Oh my god. Do you know what I mean? That's a, that's worse than bounty, that is. That's not. That's, <laughs> not, that's a special place. That bounty you you're lucky it even is on this tier list. I, I should have removed it <laughs> or going live. Uh, like jelly beans, I think, at the absolute best C. Yeah. Yeah. Better than <sighs> Uh, hobnobs. I've got like a hobnob. I can't, I just don't think they're that good. No, oh, yeah, I, I could not give a shit about them. No. <laughs> <laughs> they, oh. they're, they're not as bad as bounties, but oh, um, they're gonna stay in my cupboard. Just, <laughs> I know, I know they've got a fan base. I will give a bit of redemption to a chocolate hobnob. But the regular hobnobs, it's literally just like eating porridge. Yeah. <laughs> that they tastes nice right. in tea. And they tend to break off quite severely. So you yeah. get lumps and shit in your tea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like I say, chocolate hobnob, yeah. I'd, 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 I'd entertain you. Where did they get their name from? Hobnob. Don't know. 
It's got a great PR team, though. That's it. Oh, thank you, Bella. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, to okay, ready salted. They're not that bad, you know. They're not. I'd They're not as good as cheese and onion. No, not as bad as salt and vinegar. Although Dan would may disagree. I would probably say just middle of the lane B tier yeah, for, for B. ready salted. Yeah. Yeah. B tier. Ready salted crisp sandwiches. Oh, do like a crisp sandwich. Crisp sandwiches. Are cool. So what I like doing is I like getting a meal deal like a pasta pot, um, and then getting crisps and then like breaking the crisps over the pasta to give them a little crunch. Nice. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Like that. right, we we have arrived. For other oh, flake. We've That's we've great. spoken about it more than any other. Yeah. <laughs> and we've only just got to it. I think. Even though, and this is this is huge. Even though the Ripple, in my opinion, is a superior product, the Flake is still an S tier product. So my wow. say for the Ripple, I love a Flake. Jeez. Gets everywhere, but I love it. <sighs> the reason I know I love a Flake is because if you ever get an ice cream man and you yeah. get the fake flakes. <laughs> I literally would just fr- the ice cream is just nil and void. It's just done. It's just <laughs> not even. With that guy. It's just ruined it. I'd rather he just wouldn't eat because those fake flakes, the cheap ones. <laughs> fake flakes. Fake flakes. You seen them? They're just like they're just called fake. When you ever get an ice cream, just check if he's giving you a fake flake, mate. He's he's, 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 he's doing you in. <laughs> he's, on, he's on the rob. What? Yeah, do right. not trust him. I don't know what he's putting in his ice cream. <laughs> uh, he's suspect. That's yeah. what I'm saying. I mean, yeah. I, I don't. I'm trying to rest with myself to put it in S. I would. I, I just don't think it's better than some of the stuff in yeah, A. Yeah, yeah. I feel like if it's S plus, we all have to agree. I mean, Jordan yeah. didn't really fully agree about the Monster Munch, but I'll put it there anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think Lovely has to agree because he's, he's moving it. He's right. the, uh, the, in that case, yeah. he's going in A. A? Yeah. I, I can see the logic for sure, especially in even my own description of Ripple being superior. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. I had the Ripple being there, I would. I think I'll be fighting for S+. Plus. Yeah. yeah. But, um, I mean, you wouldn't get any It'd definitely be up there. Mars. Oh, I don't know about Mars. Oh, they're all right. Like, they're fine, but they're also yeah. kind of not. This is a bit <laughs> dull. I th- I do think a Mars bar is dull. I so I deconstruct a Mars when I eat it. Nice. So I bite the sides. I eat the caramel, and then I save the the nougat or nougat, that that bit, and it yeah. tastes so much better. And when you're hungry, oh mate, that that process hits really good. I'm a, I'm a big fan, but but actually, and weirdly, eating it normal. <laughs> I'm not going to do the hand movements, but eating it normal, <laughs> yeah, it's probably like a a B or a C. But when I do my method, it's definitely an A for me. For me, yeah. So I understand. That's tricky. Next time you get one, just try my method. Yeah. Sides off. The chocolate and caramel on the top, and then the, the nugget bit, and you're like it. It gives it levels. Okay, I'll give it. A, I'll definitely give it a go. Where where are we putting it? I mean, personally, yeah, I I can't really say it's better than, or at the same level as a Twix. <sighs> hmm. So yeah. I, think, I think it's got to go C. I would agree. I would say. It's like a B minus or a C plus. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's definitely better than a bounty. 100%. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 100%. Fuck. I think even if you're others in prison, <laughs> <laughs> like an old school prison, and there was, I just don't think I would eat a bounty. If there was nothing, if I was literally had no food. I think I would just go, oh, you're all right. 
<laughs> I'll eat Fair my flip flops. <laughs> Peanut M and M's. I do love M and M's, man. M&M's I like though. peanuts. I like peanuts though. So I, I'm not, I'm not a fan of these at all. <laughs> but I know Ooh, I know that's... Luzzy because Luzzy said there's at least one S plus on a. Unless it was a monster munch. <laughs> no, it was monster munch that I was oh, talking about. Um, I like the the chocolate ones. Chocolate yeah. ones are good. Crispy ones are good crispy as well. Ones, Blue packet crispy ones are actually better than the solid ones. caramel ones. Oh my lord! My my missus loves these. Um, but yeah, it's just, I, it, I'm not a massive fan of nuts with chocolate, so. That's um. Oh my! Wow, this just made me realise there's not a Snickers bar on it. Yeah, uh, there's quite a, a few. Got a few. There's not. I have. I've well got into double deckers. Oh, I, I had a big oh, double decker period. I'm addicted to them at the minute. Like double yeah. proper addicted. Where I have to have one a day. I had. I had a. I had a big double decker period. I also had a big toffee crisp era. Yes, mate. Yeah, same. <laughs> same. I go through these. I go through like six month periods where. Yeah. I'm just like. Um, yeah, it was reasons. That, that, yeah, yes, re. Oh, mate. Yeah. Reasons. A the class. Uh, then toffee crisp. Then I'm, I'm just. I'm on a proper double decker vibe at the minute. Nice. Just uh, double decker. Me with my bounty. <laughs> perhaps, <laughs> perhaps bounty is a phase. Yeah. <laughs> see, you might get. You might get that. Uh, yeah, you know I mean, you, perhaps. Dan, <laughs> you might me do this. You definitely won't go that low, mate. <laughs> it might be for me. Oh, I'm, it, it will never ever be a phase. <laughs> there are certain things that you will like, you know, you will try your hat to, but uh, I will not be taken to the bounty side. <sighs> Coconut is just, it's just, you know, screams red flags for me. <laughs> yeah. The only people in prison getting bounties are the chomos. <laughs> Oh dear. oh dear! No M and M's. Uh, see, I would actually say if we did like a Doritos, uh, sorry, an M and M's thing like we did with the Doritos, I would probably say peanut. Peanut M and M's are the lowest for me. Mm. So I would say B or C for peanut M and M's. I mean, I will fight for a B, but I will probably have to accept the C, based on Dan's hatred of M and M's. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I mean, sickens me that bounty is in C next to M and M's. But uh, I'm the kind. I'm the same. Yeah, I'm the same with Mars. I'm like, <laughs> I'm looking at that list, and I'm like, I can't believe because I had a Mars period as well, where it was like, it was top tier, and it's just now it's just sitting with Mister Bounty <laughs> and a picnic. Oh, oh, don't come after the picnic. We know Bounty's fucking worse. That's it, isn't it? I mean, you I, the, the absolute slander. Let's go. Can on. We, it's still like a little cup fight, or if we've got time, like if you just had a quick fire, if you got to pick one out of each category, what are you going for? Okay. I'll go tangy cheese, bounty. Oh, what are we saying? The one that you'd <laughs> want? What, what? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. 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 Just, tangy right. cheese, oh, bounty. Already. Uh, Oh, it's between a mini roll and a Greg's. Uh, I'll go mm, mini roll, flake, mini eggs. Fuck. Okay. Uh, yeah, tangy cheese. Uh, what else? Fuck it. I'm going to be edgy. Picnic. Cool. Um, Twix. Uh. Oh, I'm torn between a gold bar and a whisper. Oof. I'll go gold bar. Nice. Just. just. Uh, fuck. I've picked nothing savoury. <laughs> yeah. I'll grab, For the savoury purpose, I'm going to have to go Monster Munch. Nice. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to go salt and vinegar crisps. Mars. Uh, I need some sweets, so I'm gonna go Skittles, uh, Flake, 
whisper monster munch banging the monster, monster munch. munch amazing monster munch there you go play. well I've, I've put up with a lot of bounty slander tonight you have I mean to be <laughs> honest when you do come out as a bounty you know admirer <laughs> yeah there is a reason. Oh, no, that's such a shit joke. I was going to say, there's a reason why bounty hunters exist. That's so <laughs> shy. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just, it literally it makes the jokes worse. <laughs> uh, it makes you less, <laughs> you less interesting as well, unfortunately. <laughs> Bounties, they're a curse, mate. They're a fucking curse. Get off them. Get off them. Uh... Yeah, I think that's the only one out of them that, that like, uh, most of us agreed on. On most of it, it's the only one that that really tore tore us all apart. Yeah. Although I think if 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 you'd have been here when we did the salt and vinegar, oh, not necessarily S tier. I don't know. Would that have been? A oh yeah, one? I don't mind them. They're uh, they're, they're pro- out the three. They're probably my bottom, to be honest. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be fighting for salt. I used to like them when I was younger, but I wouldn't be fighting for for salt. But yeah, I would not D maybe, but yes, C or B. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I, I can I can leave them. I like salt and on my chips though. Whew. Yeah, I see. I'm not. I'm not salt. Maybe vinegar. I can't do it on chips. Oh, I, I go extra. It's got like, it's my ketchup or curry sauce. Yeah, I have that as well. I have to. Uh, I have to ask the them. Vinegar. Yeah, I have to ask them if can I do the vinegar because I'm like, <laughs> I think it's really bad for you, but. I was just swimming in vinegar. You rabbit, the rabbit live long. That's it, yeah. And nice biscuits. So, people who have vinegar, it's clinically proven you live longer. There's no research that shows that. <laughs> Trust us. Jesus Christ. Well, thank you, everyone, for joining us. It's good thank to you. have uh, both lads back and doing a live podcast. Um, I hope you're doing, uh, having a good day wherever you are and where are you listening from. We'll see you in the next one up the Atma. Bye bye for now. See you later. Yeah.